Hello friends, today we're going to be making a smoothie that helps reduce inflammation. Inflammation is one of the root causes of diseases. So if we can get rid of or at least minimize the inflammation in our body, then we can also reduce or minimize the aches and pains of our body. We're going to be adding blueberries and blueberries have a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. They help reduce the inflammation that's in your body. They help to boost your immune system. It's also great for your heart. It helps to reduce the risk of heart attacks. It also improves memory. So let's start making this great smoothie because it's not only great because it has a lot of great benefits for our health, but it also tastes great. One of the first ingredients that we're going to be adding is bananas. I like bananas in pretty much all my smoothies because they have tons of fiber, which fiber helps push out all the toxins from our bodies. Fiber is very important for us to have. So we're gonna have three bananas and make sure that the bananas are ripe. Make sure that they have spots in them or on them because if they don't, if you eat them when they're yellow or green, you could get constipated or have an upset stomach and you don't want that. So avoid having that and just eat the bananas that are spotted. Then we're gonna have one cup of blueberries and put all of this, the bananas, the blueberries, in the blender. Then we're going to have apples. You can pick any kind of apples that you want, but go ahead and have one apple, cut it up and put it in the blender. Then we're going to add two cups of kale. And before you start like, oh no, well, let me tell you, you won't be able to taste the kale in this smoothie. All you're gonna taste is the fruit goodness of the smoothie and get all the benefits of greens. Then we're going to add two cups of water and of course if you want it you know to be more thicker add less water if you want it to be a lot more watery then just add more water it's up to you i always just like to put around two three cups of water then just blend all of those ingredients together in the blender until the, the smoothie is as smooth as you like it and that's it the smoothie is ready then once the smoothie is ready you can go ahead and top it off with blueberries or little cut up pieces of apples or any other fruit that you would like to put on there. And just blend it together and that way you can have some crunch in your smoothie. I also like to add chia seeds in on my smoothies. So you can do that too. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this smoothie. Don't forget to like and comment below and I will see you on my next video.